gonna do. Not gonna do. It's the hand. <laughs> you need second hand when you can have third hand. That's a thumbnail. <laughs> well, I'll give it a try. Oh, what? Thanks for that. decided to be a pig. I have her out the table there. But I think I'm just going to try and use this instead. Okay, here we go. This is the top, which I've machined out with our improvised router. This is the base, which I've just stained. It's mahogany sapeel wood that I'm using. But I have stained it with uh, Burmese teak. There we go, Burmese teak. And I paid £2.64 for it. So you can tell how long ago that was. Can't get any screws small enough local to me. I didn't think it'd be that much of a problem, so I didn't order them. And 
now I'm paying the price. Cooey smells. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to put a bit on the back of the hinge too. Okay, the plan is, this little piece that I've just made here is going on that box. What I've done is printed off um, a little logo motif that I want to use, stuck it down onto the metalwork, then used a craft knife to cut round it leaving just the bits that I wanted. Then I've used nail varnish just to cover those areas. Those areas are gonna be protected by the nail varnish and it will be removed later on. Then what we will do is be using a solution of ordinary table salt and water, which I've mixed and popped in here and cotton swab which I've wrapped with a bit of tape just so that it make it a bit more manageable you can use a cotton bud for it but it means you've got to hold the cotton bud right at the bottom this I find a little bit easier <coughs> and this little unit here which is just an ordinary 12 volt car battery charger okay we dip the swab in the solution <clears throat> the plate is positively charged and the swab's in the negative charge. Let's go for it. actually see the bubbles I don't know how good this is going to turn out as I haven't done anything on this kind of scale before I've done something with much less detail in it much blockier and it was superb was harmed during the making of this. It was donated. Mm. Mm, it smells so good, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use 
bit of nail polish remover. But there we go. That's lovely. The idea being that this section of the card will be able to slide. Put the cards in. I'm going to have to call this done. Okay, all larking around aside. I really have enjoyed participating in Maker Showdown. I've tried a few different things that I wouldn't normally do. I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm not really a wood person yet. I'm getting there, I'm really enjoying working with it and one of the reasons why I picked it, I had some leftover uh, mahogany speely from a project that I've been doing turning. And I just thought it was a nice a nice little idea, it's got to be a box and it's got to include card. I think we can safely say it includes card. Right even to the point of a tiny little hidey hole for your dice or your trinkets or whatever. Good luck to Richard and good luck to you the voters too. <laughs>